Okay, this was a really awesome thing that came up with my private clients that I'm gonna share with you guys. <clears throat> Let me just share this video super quick. Hey, Andrea. Hey, girl. Hey, Catherine. Long time no see. <laughs> All right, I'm going to share this really quick. Share to a page. This is amazing stuff I'm about to tell you guys. Okay, that's my business page. <laughs> it's funny that I still suck at sharing this. One second. If I just would do it more often. Oh, here we go. And hey, Diana. Okay. So I just finished with my Diamond Mastermind private clients, and all the good stuff always comes up, right? So, um, <clears throat> so literally, we do this every single week. So I, you know, I have private one on ones with them, and then every week we do just trainings where I'm live and available for Q and A's for stuff, and then I teach them any of the high level stuff in the business that I wish somebody had taught me all along the way. I just, you know, teach them as we go. So today, um, we were talking about a whole bunch of different subjects. Actually, I forgot, before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know, a bunch of people were asking, last call for Wealthy Coach, 66 days of actually shifting any behavior habit you have, getting on the freaking other side and building your business and stop playing small and stop pretending that you don't know what to do and actually rewire that so you show up like a high level successful person and just rewiring your stuff for that, closes today. This is absolute last call. Um, so how it's going to work is you would just have to book your call, mandyperry.com, go in there, fill out the quick application, book your call before 9 p.m. tonight or doors closed. And we're closed all the way till October. The doors will be closed. Um, so this is last chance, last call. I really wouldn't wait. <laughs> the girls are getting such mind-blowing epic results and you're going to get bigger results in this one group in this 66 days than most people get in a freaking lifetime. That's just what it is. End of story. Okay. So if you feel called to that, if you feel all in, if you've been circle around, if you've been wondering like this is your call, last chance, end of story. Okay. Okay. So back to the important stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm talking with my private clients. Actually, I'll put this in the comments. <coughs> And really it comes up very consistently. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. I've been talking for a long time this morning. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. It's still there. Mm. Okay, so it comes up very consistently. Like, hey, I did X, Y, and Z in my business. I only got this result. What do I do? Which is, if I just say it super bluntly, a very low level question. <clears throat> yes, I am okay. Thank you, Kristen. It's just from talking all morning long. Um, and I understand, like, I've asked that question seven million times with mentors, with myself, with my friends, with whatever. Like, it's just such a common question. It's like a normal question for people to ask. And if we're going to call a spade a spade, it's quite the low level question. It's not a question that's going to get you the result that you want. Right? So what came up today just kind of flew out my mouth when I was talking to them and I was like, oh, that's so good. That's like in four words. That's like how you do this. I don't know how many words it actually is. I'm posting it right now. This is the difference. If you have the question inside of like, I'm doing this and this and this and I just don't know how to get that result, it's the low level question. If it's a task based thing, it's a high level question, right? And like. This is like a phrase that's gonna help you remember as you're doing this. So if you want to learn to think and act in your business like a successful entrepreneur who already has the result, who already has a business that makes 50K months, et cetera, and like you have a team of people, you're running retreats around the world, like you have clients all over the world, this is the high level way of thinking, okay? 
<clears throat> so the way that you get to remind yourself and in the July group, we break this down into actual, like we get on the bike and this is what we fucking do the whole time. We learn how to actually get this done and implement this and rewire it into our brain. So it's just how we show up. All right. But I, and I can't do that for you guys in this call, but I really want you to at least have the goal set in your head. Like at least knowing that this is the place we're trying to get to is really, really important. Okay. So if it's a task based thing, then you can ask how, like I'm trying to make a pay payment link on PayPal. How do I build a PayPal or how do I build a payment link for my clients so that it's a reoccurring payment every single month? That is a task based thing. Totally, totally normal and okay to ask how, if it's a result based thing, how do I get this result? How do I make 10 K a month? How do I get people to engage in my Facebook? How do I build the sales page? Not build the sales page on the platform, but like what's the energy of what I want to say? Like what do I actually say on the sales page? That kind of stuff. Like if it's a result that you're trying to get, how do I get 20 people into this group? How do I get consistent clients so I don't feel like I'm always chasing them? How do I um, stop being scared about money, right? None of these, that's like, that's when it's a low level question. And by low level, I don't mean like unintelligent. I mean, low level, like it will pull you down all the vibration of what it's going to require for you to like expand and be excited and to like attract this stuff to you is going to go away when you are asking these low vibrational, low level questions. They're not going to support you. And I would say 100% of the coaches that come to me that are feeling stuck and frustrated are asking these questions. And it's very confusing to them. Like they're just getting very confused. Like I don't understand if you don't tell me how to make 20K months, how am I supposed to know how to make 20K months? Right? Like I get it because that's the question I asked all along and it felt like crap. Tell me below in the comments if you understand what I'm talking about. If you feel like, well, if somebody doesn't tell me how to make 20K months, how am I going to make 20K months? Does that resonate with you? Does it feel like you're always trying to figure out how to get more successful, how to build your business or how to create the life that you want or how to have more friends that are like-minded or how do I um, have this experience with my husband that I want to have or how do I not feel scared about money anymore? Tell me below and it would be even more helpful if you told me what is the thing that you feel like you don't understand how to do? what feels like I don't understand how to do this or how do I get myself to this place or how do I get that result? What is the thing that comes up for you there? This is so big guys. Like I'm not even kidding. This is why I've dedicated a huge part of what I do every day to design the wealthy coach group to actually rewire this in people's head, right? Like re just rewire this, rewire this, rewire this training over and over and over and over and over. Get away from spending all of our time and energy expanding something that doesn't get us the result that we want instead of expanding the thing that'll bring in the thing that we want, right? So if it's task based and you're asking how on point, if a mentor can teach you how to do all those things, which I teach everyone to do in the, in the wealthy coach group, right? Like that's why I teach them because having someone teach you how to do those things is so awesome because it makes it really easy and you don't have to go freaking doing what I did, which is like spend hours and hours and hours researching, trying to find the place, trying to first, you have to figure out what it is that you need to do. Then you have to figure out how to actually do it, learn the technology piece, learn all the little glitches, find the people that can actually support you to do it, pay all this money, find out that platform was the wrong platform. And I'm going to try this and 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 like, oh, look, I finally got this result done. Oh my God, it's not even the right platform. I have to freaking start all over again. Or it was the right platform, but I stopped doing it for so long that I have to go back and have to relearn everything. Like, yeah, none of that. On point, right? So if it's a result-based thing, I'm going to give you exactly how you can look at it in order to bring in that result without getting stuck in the low level of question. Would you like me to tell you that? Send a heart send a like. Does this resonate with you? Tell me. Give me some love. Let me know that this resonates with you. Would you like to know a high level, successful way of engaging with yourself and thinking about it that will actually get the result that you're looking for when it's a result based thing? Christina does. Yeah, Diana does. Who else? 
I'm gonna tell you this. And it took me freaking years to figure this out. I'm gonna type it in there for you. And before I answer this, I'm gonna tell you that I already got it. Before I answer that, I'm gonna tell you this because it's so big. I literally pay my mentor $6,000 a month just because it reminds me that I already know this. That's how big this is. It reminds me of the thing I'm telling you guys right now. It's just a constant reminder and refresher of the thing I'm telling you guys right now, okay? When you feel stuck, when you don't feel like you know how to get how to the result, this is the only question you need to ask yourself. I'm pinning it to the top. Why, what am I ignoring that my soul is asking me to do? That's it. Not how do I do this? Shut up, knock it off. Shut the hell up. You know that's a bullshit question, you know. You already freaking know. How many things has your soul already been prompting you to do? How many things did you already know to do that you're not doing? You're not doing consistent. You're not doing with excellence. You're not doing them. But yet you freaking think that you need someone else to teach you some new thing that you're not gonna do. You already know this. I literally pay so much money every single month just to be reminded of this. What are you already ignoring that your soul is asking you to do? It could be joining the Wealthy Coach Group before it freaking closes at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. It could be hiring that first person for your business. It could be having that tough conversation with your husband. It could be saying no, hiring the nanny, hiring the cleaners. It could be actually taking a day off, reading that freaking book, doing the Kundalini Yoga, eating better, putting that second glass of wine down, stop eating the fucking chocolate. What is it? Yeah, Amy, I love heart showers. Love them. I don't know why they make me so excited. <laughs> You already know. What would it look like if you actually really learned to live life when your soul gave you a prompting and you took immediate action on it because you know, just like either you're pregnant or you're not pregnant, you either believe in abundance or you don't believe in abundance. Either there's enough for everyone or there's not. Either you're gonna do this or you aren't. You're all in or you're not. But the bullshit that happens is instead of being really honest that like, I feel really led to do this, but I'm too scared. What if I hire this, you know, I, what if I hire a nanny and then I can't afford to pay her? Or if I go to do work on my business when she's nannying and then I don't get the work done anyways? Or, you know, what if I invest in the ACA Wealthy Coach Group? And I, what if I do that and I leap in and I'm both feet in and then I fail? Then what? what if, then I know I fail. Like, then what am I going to do? That, that's going to feel terrible. I'm going to look like an idiot, right? Like, that's what happens. So instead of actually taking action, the mo I learned this from Tony Robbins. The moment you have the maximum amount of clarity, that's why people do enrollment calls or you know breakthrough calls or free sessions or whatever, because what happens is we're able to break through the bullshit patterns that are keeping you stuck. The fog clears and you're able to see clearly for a minute. And then if you're ready, if you're opting into the life of success, you take action right then. You instantly take action because you can see the highest version of you, the most successful, clear version of you that's calling in the, the thing you know you're able to can see it and you will take action to back that up. And so then whatever, t whatever happens after, it doesn't matter because you've already decided when you had the most amount of wisdom and clarity. And I learned that from Tony Robbins. When you have the most amount of clarity, take action right then. Action that you have to back up, that you can't get out of. A committed thing that you cannot get out of. And you have not decided to do jack shit if you haven't taken an action. A decision isn't when we're sitting there like, yes, I'm gonna do this. That's not a decision, that's an emotion. You just feel excited. Don't call it a decision, it's not a decision. A decision is when you said, send hired make the phone call can you send somebody for me to interview for nannying it's the action that's been taken that shows that you've made a decision if you have not taken action on it you are in a stuck in indecision and indecision is the mother load of all failure like if you want to not have all the things that you feel like you want just stay stuck in indecision just pretend that the emotional excitement that you get is making a decision and keep wondering why nobody will teach you how to get the result there's your magical formula for failure. Check. I pretended a decision, my excitement was a decision. Check. I procrastinated on getting it done while I had the clarity and the excitement. 
Check. I'm wondering why it's not working. Check. I'm now asking everybody how I will get this result. There you go. There is the fail plan for most of the entrepreneurs that I see out there. I'll end to tell fear to F off. There is no failing until hell yes, Amy. Ow! Oh, Amy, congratulations, is in the wealthy coach group. Yes. Yes, seriously, so much yes. You read my mind always because we're all the same. Because we're all the freaking same, right? So, what is it going to look like today, right? And literally, this is the message that I bring. Like, if I were going to die tomorrow, and there was one thing I could say to you, and my soul's longing is to get as many women as I can, and men too, like, especially recently. As of recently, I've learned some really powerful things about what's going on with the men in our culture and how they're being treated and the emasculation that's happening. And who oh, did it put a fire in me to want to support men too? So I actually am as, as fired up about supporting men as I was about women. It's just a habit to say women. So the people that are looking to get out there and heal the world, this is the pattern that they're stuck in that I watch happen all the freaking time. And if I could say one thing, one thing, if I could just say one thing and never say anything again, this is what this is what it would be. My whole soul's heart intention is to be like, I'm gonna reach as many people out there that are struggling and they're doing the work, they're showing up, they're, they're just trying and I'm like treading water, I'm trying to figure this out, but they're capped at the fear that they have that everything, like this is how it always looked like, so that's all that's possible. No the fuck it's not. So what you know is what it feels like to do shit all by yourself with no support. But if you actually call in support, why would you think that the result is gonna look the same? It's not gonna look the same, it's gonna look completely different. It's gonna look like what it looks like with support, which is a completely different world. Completely different world. When you have a mindset shift and an, an emotional vibrational shift, when you start to change your focus from what if this goes wrong or if I look stupid or if I fail, and you start to focus on how it's going right and celebrating the wins and shifting and rewiring these patterns so that your behavior naturally changes, your life is going to look different. So when you go to make the decision to invest in yourself or to do that thing that your soul is asking you to, don't let yourself slip and be like, yeah, but what if it looks like that? It's not. How could it? How could it? You are a completely different human being show up in a completely different way, making different choices. How could it look the same? It can't look the same. That's like me saying like, well, I'm going to go to the gym every day and I'm going to eat really healthy. And, and, but you know, what if in a month I still like nothing's different? It can't, it cannot look the same. That's not possible. It's not possible. Right? So watch for that pattern of like slipping back to like what's possible for me moving forward is all I know. That's your brain, right? That's that low level nervous system, right? That's that low level shit. Just keep you surviving. That's not thriving, that's just surviving. You'll survive by doing that, but you won't thrive. You will never know the feeling of like, I fucking did it. I did it, I got to the other side. Look at the results. Look at the epic legacy I'm leaving behind me. Like I did it. You get to have that feeling. And what it's gonna look like is you starting to challenge that you need to know how to do a particular thing and start to understand that this is about actually shifting the place that you come from inside and what your day-to-day -day look is at. And when your soul says leap, you say, I ma'am. I don't know if you know that, that's Marine Corps. So when we're on the deck in the Marine Corps, we would be like, mountain climbers, I ma'am. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks, I ma'am. And we'd have to scream back, right? Soul says leap, you say, I ma'am. Like you're on the motherfucking Marine Corps quarter deck and you're doing what your drill instructor is screaming in your face and you don't have a choice. There is nothing else. You do it. And all the stuff that gets worked up as you take that brave leap is the thing that seasons you to becoming the person it took for you to have the life that you dream about. And it's not bullshit. It's not a way to avoid telling you how because I teach you how, right? Like ask the girls in all the wealthy coach groups. I teach you how to do everything. I teach you how to do all the power moves in your business. And if that's all I did, none of them would have the success that they do. This is the real work. I just do that other stuff because it's easy and why wouldn't I show you? So you don't have to waste any time doing that. You just get to do that while you do this real work, right? This is the real work. So I, I keep thinking in my head, this is what I'm thinking currently. What would I have needed to hear when I didn't believe this? When I didn't understand this and I didn't believe this, what would I have needed to hear? And I just keep repeating myself because that's what I needed to hear. So I don't know who this is for, 
but I want you to know from my heart to yours, from the woman who was like on freaking food stamps, like begging people to let my son on groups and doing the shit I was doing to two years later having a half million dollar business and working with such incredible, amazing women and being known as an expert in my field, from my heart to yours, this is it. It's not a sales freaking ploy. It's not a, that's what I thought. I thought it was people being lazy. Like they just like, yeah, you don't need, no, you don't know how to teach me how, so you're being lazy and telling me this bullshit, but can you just tell me how now? Like, that's what I thought. And I thought like, you just don't know how, or you're just trying to sell me on something. Like, yeah, you're just twisting that and just telling me that is what I thought it is. <laughs> I did. I thought that for a long time. It's embarrassing now that I did, but I did. So if that's what you're thinking, I'm just here to challenge that. I'm just here to tell you, like, if you can drop the, like, how I'm thinking, if, if, look, if the way you were thinking would have gotten you the result that you want, you would have already, you've already gotten it. Because everything in your life started as a thought. Every fucking thing in your life, every emotional experience you have, every relationship with you and another person, every physical thing in your home started as a thought energetically in your body and turned into something you manifested into your life. That's just facts. Everything in the entire planet backs that up. Everything in the planet backs that up. That's non-deniable anymore. That is scientific fact. That's what it is, okay? That is just what it is. So we know that now. It is what it is. So if you can just hear this and you can start to be open to the possibility that the only thing stopping you from having wild abundance is the belief that you're supposed to know how somebody has to teach you how, and you have to be sure before you do it. Like, so I have to know how it's all gonna work and I, I have to know that it's gonna work before I'll make the investment. I have to prove to myself that it's gonna work before I will take that step forward. Never gonna fucking happen. That doesn't happen, ever. That's not gonna happen. And even, I guess it could if maybe you wanted to like only ever make six figures a year over like the next 10 years. That's that pace. That's like that slow crawl pace while everybody's blowing right past you because they're doing the stuff I'm talking about right now. Does this make sense? And do you have any questions about it? Because this is my deepest message to the entire world. My everything I long for and desire is to see people breaking through this and understanding this and then thus being wide open to receive all the good things in the entire world. And then your only problem is working through, well, who am I when I'm wealthy? Who am I when I have power? Who am I when I'm well known? As I get more famous, what does that mean? Who do I wanna be? Like, what am I gonna do with my power? What do I do with all this money? Like, that's gonna be your new problem. And then I'll coach you through that shit because it's awesome and fun. Mindset is the real work, hell yes. Amy, leap, yes, she teaches us everything, but that's not it. Yes, because Amy's already in the group, getting all the magic. Wakar, well, I don't know how to say your name. I am great, thank you. What am I ignoring that my soul is asking me to do? This is the question. I can barely stay in my seat. I'm so excited. <laughs> I freaking love my girls. Do you see what my clients are like? Oh, I'm so blessed. I'm so freaking blessed. Okay, so that is my message for today. And I'm just gonna straight do this. I'm straight going to say to you, if you're looking to be known online, to have a wealth mindset, to be a well-known coach, to crush it in your business, or just to actually up-level your freaking life, literally, literally, get your ass in the wealthy coach group. Like, don't wait any longer. What is the point of waiting to thrive? Like, no, I just wanna suffer a little longer. I just wanna barely survive a little bit longer. I know it's scary and hard. I've done it a million times myself. I'm not asking you to do anything that I didn't do. Get your ass in there. We're closing the doors all the way till October on this. There's not gonna be another group. That's a long time to wait for the, that's a long time to wait to get results. Like there is full abundance. It's as wild and open as oxygen. You're gonna learn the things that are gonna get you wide open to abundance and you're gonna listen to soul and you're gonna get everything you're meant to get. Like you're going to get it. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. There is no what if I fail or what if I don't make it. That's not true because you're learning how to listen to soul. It's the safest thing on the planet you could do. It's the most high level thing on the planet that you could do. You're going to be intuitively guided and learn how to take that as a, like that's gonna be a reaction to like, Instead of the reactions that you have, you're gonna relearn how to have a new reaction. That is so powerful. So I'm not sure who that's for, but if it feels like it's for you, go over to mandyperry.com, fill out the application, book a call before 9 p.m. Eastern. I am permanent on that. We're closing the door at that. No more calls will be taken for that group after that. Yay, yay. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask for this because I want it. It has nothing to do with everything please send me your favorite gif. 
the G-I-F. I don't even know what that stands for. I need to look that up. What does a gift stand for? Who knows? If Mary was on here, she would know. I bet Amanda knows. Graphic something. I don't think much else in life brings me as much pleasure as good gifts. <laughs> Graphic interchange format. Oh. Did you know that you can make your own gifts? I'm really looking forward to the social media person that I hire because I'm going to have her make gifts of me. Oh, great. Is that like this? <laughs> That's going to be a gift. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I will be watching for gifts because they're my favorite thing in the whole freaking world. I love you guys so much. I hope this served you. And don't forget take action right now whatever that is for you whatever you, you and your soul know don't pretend you don't know you freaking know it's been prompting you all along you've been ignoring it take action today right now don't even wait till this video's over don't even wait don't wait the 20 seconds it's gonna be over just go do it right now like actually take action on a thing don't write it on a piece of paper don't tell yourself I'm gonna do it go take action on it right now the kind of action that you can't turn back from and you have to make it happen go go take action on it right now be gone I better watch the number dropping 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 go take action on it right now I'm gonna get off so that you have to go take action on it right now and then think about how good it's gonna feel on the other side don't think about oh my god it's gonna be scary but what if it doesn't work but what if I can't pay her but what if no no nope, nope. it's gonna feel so amazing I'm learning how to be guided by my soul I'm gonna be this wild entrepreneur that's gonna heal lives all over the place or I'm just gonna be like well known and seen and lead legacy like you focus on that stay focused on that okay yeah, yeah. I see a heart shower online. <laughs> love them. They're my favorite thing in the whole world. All right. I love you guys. And we will be announcing soon. Um, actually, tomorrow there's going to be a flash sale on something exciting for you guys. And then I'll be announcing um, the retreat soon, which is August 25th and 26th. We'll be open to public soon, so I'll be in person hanging out with you guys, and I'll let you guys know that link soon, okay? All right, love you.